So in JavaScript, there's actually a really cool way that you can actually attach something called symbols to objects. And these symbol constructs are basically read from the lower level JavaScript code to know when it should be doing something when you're trying to like loop over it or read it. So for example, let's say we wanted to make this do something special when we try to loop over it with a for loop. Typically when you do a for in or a for of on an object, it's gonna loop over all the keys or the values. But let's say we wanted to customize that for some reason. I can actually do object and I can say symbol dot iterator. And I'm gonna set that equal to a generator function, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a function like this and inside that function I can go ahead and yield different things like a b c or like let's say we wanted to do like the alphabet or something so now whenever someone tries to loop over this object so if I were, were to go ahead and say for let key of object and let's just go ahead and print out like what key is here you'll see that it actually prints out a b c and d so even though this object could have things on it like I could say name is Bob and age is 20 if I were to go ahead and loop over this it's always going to loop over this iterator and kind of do the custom logic that I decided to do